Hey everybody, it's Dima here. New patch has come out. With the new patch we got a lot of changes and one of them was Barbarian got freaking nerfed. Oh my goodness. So pretty much recently the patch hotfix 54 has come out and uh, we got a lot of things that has changed. So we're gonna go over each and every single change and we're gonna see where it's gonna get us. So pretty much um, let's start with the first change which i think is gonna you know require most of your attention so pretty much it's the barbarian the barbarian got absolutely obliterated the rage went from 12 to 9 percent which is which is right you know it's manageable but the savage roar got drastically got drastically changed this change is so freaking massive this is actually quite ridiculous um i'm not sure why would they do this instead of nerfing a warlock they decided to nerf a barb but it's okay it's okay listen i'm okay with it it's all right barbarian needed a little bit of you know fix tweaks some little tiny change but um basically there is few big changes one barbarian got fucking fixed and two now you can use the warp in the base camp <laughs> oh well basically that's kind of pretty much it oh yeah and you know that annoying little sound of the um environmental sound in that you could hear from time to time that you like probably would make you think that it was a rat or something nah that was just environmental sound and now it's removed i've mentioned it like 300 dozen of times and pretty much finally we got it worked out so let's go back to the patch note and let's quickly go over them so fix an issue that could cause a server crash when a druid escapes the game while transforming into animal sure Fix an issue where the damage of Lightning Strike, Holy Strike and Dreamfire did not scale properly. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Fix an issue where the Torn Barrier rendering was not displayed properly. Yeah, it was slightly bigger than it really is. Fix uh, a performance issue with the Ceremonial Staff Close Simulation. First, okay, we, we move on. Fix an issue where new Druid equipment items were not dropped from monsters. Really? wow that's kind of sucks yeah i've noticed one thing that i never got a druid items but apparently that was an issue i thought maybe i just uh, wasn't lucky enough fix an issue where the ant nest module shrine of health could be used twice wow i didn't w what is even this module is <laughs> i would assume maybe somewhere in the abyss fix an issue where the rope sound in the goblin cave was muffled mm, i thought it was the way it was intended fix an issue where their loyal court wizard quest mission dark ritual room a could not be cleared because it did not exist <laughs> okay fix an issue where player kills it and the ap were not being calculated properly oh yeah that was so fucking annoying holy cow um the amount of times where we got six to seven kills and we got zero at the end was actually more than slightly past dozen of times fix an issue where the selected dungeon on the world map was not highlighted in yellow mm, all right Fix an issue where the recipes for protection potion and magic protection pods were set incorrectly. Sure. Barbarian rage movement speed. Yep, that's the sad change we have. The barb got nerfed hard from 12 to 9, from 40 to 30. This is it. The time of barbarians has come to an end. There is no point to play this barb. It's time to go play rogue again. Warlock can now use weapon when transformed into demons due to the block. Warlocks can now use weapons when transformed into demons what warlocks can now use weapons when transformed into demons due to the blood pact huh. so you're saying a guy with additional 50 health with additional 25 or 30 PDR that's gonna be run fucking faster. That's not only just gonna hit you with your fist, but also gonna fucking rip you apart with like a falchion or like a longsword or something. Are you freaking serious? Yo, we needed another warlock fucking <laughs> upgrade. Here we go. We got it. Well, we all ask for it, guys. Warlock is an unfortunate after your class, and now it's probably the Thanos tier class. Yep, that's the reference to repose um, tier list. Alright, Warlock Blood Pact loss of health per second has been changed. Now it's from 1, went to 1.5. Warlock Druid offering cooldown time has changed. I don't think anyone ever freaking used it. Warlock Life Drain Attribute Ration Bonus. 
has changed from 50 to 100. So you another Warlock buff. Wait, does the Grey Sun main Warlock by any chance or something or SDF? Who is maining Warlock? I need to freaking know. Who is freaking maining Warlock? Hello? What the hell? Yeah, anyway. Well, that's how that's how it's gonna be, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> um sure. Druid takes a hundred percent penalty to PDR and MDR while transformed into rat form. Well, now the um, Molotovs and the Lanterns will absolutely delete them on touch. Druid Torn Barrier Duration has been changed from 10 to 8 seconds. Not a drastic change. Improve the armor penetration for bows, crossbows and piercing daggers. So now we have daggers that will be able to armor pen. I really like this change. Iron Mace be like, oh hey man, it's time to go play <laughs> Rogue. Campfire has been added to Squire. Supplies items. Okay. Healing items have been added as starting items for most classes. Nice, finally. Finally, you don't need to go to the squire to add this up. Alright. And actually, also the campfire that you could use the campfire from squire is so convenient. Clarity potions can now be crafted. New clarity potions increase the memory recovery rate when resting. Okay. Treasures no longer gives adventure points. Hooray, brother! No more, we need to gr grind fucking AP <laughs> from treasures. Now you can go and actually enjoy the adventure. Wow, finally, finally, the time has come. Big, massive, W, drastic change. Let's freaking go. The secrets of gold quest now requires two gold ingots instead of six gold ores. So it's like you go use those six gold ores and craft two gold ingots instead. But question mark is gonna require... Could you just be able to buy it from market? Because when you craft, you're not gonna get the um, looted status. If the game will require the looted status... Oh boy, I already see a potential issue right here. Red sounds have been removed. Beautiful, I'm very glad. No more environmental sound, which was really triggering me. The visibility of escapes on the minimap has been improved. Okay. Warp has been enabled in the base camp. Wow, okay, we've been waiting for this for quite a while, now it's just time to add nicknames back, and that's gonna be it. The recent hotfix addressers, minor bugs, and improved to stability. By the way, where is that little change where they would completely remove lobbies? By the way, I heard that's gonna happen, but uh, apparently it didn't, and it's not going to. <laughs> the recent hotfix addresses minor bugs and improved stability. We fixed issue with several spells not scaling properly with attributes. We have made some minor balancing changes to slightly improve the ranger and rogue effectiveness. Using a certain build against full plate without making a big amp impact against the squisher classes. We also addressed some oversights with the AP systems where the treasure score was not removed as previously promised. And a bug where PvP adventure points were not properly calculated. We're still working on the improved matchmaking system, which we hope to roll out soon. In the meantime, we have decided to open up VoIP in the basement as a test for its upcoming removal and the conversation to a more social area. Sure. Thanks to the Seer Dungeon. So basically, this is gonna be a conclusion. They decided to nerf a Barbarian. I 100% agree with this change. But now Barbarian is not gonna have the physical damage reduction. Now Barbarian is just simply not gonna have a Savage Roar, which is horrible. Like, basically, this perk right here got drastically nerfed. Like, why? So, rogues will have a higher chance to beat barbs. And in some situations, you know, barbs doesn't change a chance against rogues, especially if they get it kited around. And now it just drastically changed, so pretty much you will be able to just, you know, absolutely obliterate people. I absolutely agree with this change, because barbarian could actually, you know, deal with warlocks and wizards and other classes who was not as fast quite easily. But this change... Now, Barbarian, you know, it's just gonna be in such a sad state, especially this build got drastically removed. But, um, I mean, there is really a lot of classes. There is still a fighter that is quite strong, so, you know, <laughs> a main fighter probably with the Rondel. But, uh, well, it doesn't change the fact that this change is quite sa a sad change. What about the Ranger? Ranger is pretty freaking strong. What about the Wizard? Wizard is pretty freaking strong. What about the Warlock? It's straight up an S tier class. And they decided to nerf a barb. Okay. Well, 
it's okay though. <laughs> I'm still gonna play a barb because I love this class. But I absolutely don't understand why would they let warlocks use their weapons when transformed into the demons. I feel like this is kind of silly. I really think this is kind of not right. And yeah, well, they're just, they're just a little bit weird, I'm gonna be honest. And what else do we have? The Warlock Blood Pack class slightly changed. Well, I mean, I probably already mentioned all of this, but I feel like the first change is reasonable. The second change is not because fighters still counters the absolute living hack out of barbs. And uh, because, well, the barbs doesn't have a range weapon. And now the, if the barbs doesn't have a range weapon, they can't fight you at range and they can't fight you at melee. And now rogues will have a higher chance to defeat barbs. And basically, what is there left for barbs to do? You know what I mean? It's like kind of silly change. Because, for example, a druid bear form beats barbs. And with this drastic change, it's actually really freaking drastic. It doesn't mean that, like, it's unplayable. No, it's still very playable. It's just unreasonable, you know? It's, like, weird. Because the warlocks and rangers do counter barbs. You know what I mean? And, um... I don't know, man. I don't know. This is such a silly change, by the way. They didn't nerf a fighter with the rondel. They didn't put a panel more penalty on a survival bow. They didn't nerf a rondel dagger, you know, for a fighter. Like, because, well, once again, the penalty has to be there. The rondel fighter with the shield is way too strong. Both in high roller, in solos, the matter where you go, the fighter belt is way too strong and they decide not to bother with it. Fuck, that's just so weird. And the fact that they buffed the penetration for bows, so like, just a ranger now is just a better class than a fighter or something. If that's what they're trying to say, they're like you might as well just literally get into ranger and start maining it because, from what I see, the ranger is just a better class. Like for some reason, ranger is just not being untouched but also buffed heavily. Because, like, one of the biggest counters for uh, rangers was were fighters with, you know, PDR. Like, the rangers can already kill every single class in the game. Already they can, you know what I mean? But now they can also deal with fighters quite easily. Like, look at this change. From 5 to 20. Even survival bow has a PDR. Wow, are you serious? I am happy for rogues that they got the rondel and stiletto buff. But come on, survival bow buff? You have to be fucking kidding me. And don't forget the bard. Bard is still S tier class, not a single freaking change. Warlock is S tier, bard is S tier. Fighter with um, Rondel and the Buckler is like high end A tier. Withered is somewhere next to Fighter. Cleric is like A tier plus with the Judgment. Like, come on, man, what are this stuff? I don't understand, but um, I guess it is what it is. We'll see what the game will have prepared for us, and you know we gotta test it in action. Anyway, it's demo. I'll see you in a dungeon, and this patch is freaking weird.